Hello everyone, for this tutorial video I like to transition from geometry to trigonometry which is the study of triangles and circles with regards to finding exact sides or angles of them. In fact, the etymology of the word trigonometry comes from triangle geometry so it is a shorthand way of expressing that. We will start our study of trigonometry with the most simplest type of shape to break down or analyze, the right triangle. Since we know already, a formula for the sides with regard to other sides is expressed by the Pythagorean theorem, we would simply use that to solve for any of the three sides, provided we are given the other two. However, we have not discussed how to figure out the two angles in a right triangle that are not the right angle, which is what I will explain more thoroughly in this video. You may have often heard before the mnemonic for trig functions is SOKA TOA, which means sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Since we know already that a right triangle always has a right angle, and so therefore all of its sides would have the same relative shape, aka be similar to each other, it should follow that when the sides are compared to each other that they would have the same ratio, which is what Sokotoa explains. There are also functions called inverse trig functions, which return the angle for a given ratio, and you would use these inverse trig functions to figure out the angles that are not right angles. So if we had a right triangle where we knew the leg opposite the angle we wanted to find out and the hypotenuse or the leg opposite the right angle, we would simply plug in this ratio to the inverse of sine function and we would have figured out that angle. However, it is not necessary to figure out the inverse sine, cosine, or tangent of both angles because if you were to experiment around with different triangles, you would see that the angles always add up to 180 regardless of the exact shape you are looking at. So we can use this fact to figure out the angle in a more convenient manner by subtracting the angle you use the inverse trig function for and the 90 degree angle from 180, which would simplify to 90 minus the angle you used the inverse trig function for. As we know off the bat, 180 minus 90 equals 90. However, in most applications of right triangles, you would mostly use inverse tangent and the other two you would overlook, owing to the fact the hypotenuse is more difficult to measure because of its slant. So we would figure out the ratio of the other two sides to make our lives more easier, and then simply use the inverse tangent with that ratio as the input. One caveat you may have noticed already from imagining how different triangles look is that sine, cosine, and tangent all give you two valid answers rather than one, because if a line is drawn to the left or below the spot where the right angle forms, its measurement is assumed to be negative. So for example, when the right angle is northeast or southwest, you will get a positive tangent value because of how the ratio is a positive over a positive and the northeast and a negative over the negative in the southwest. And we know algebraically a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Similarly, the sine function would be identical and positive if the triangle were northeast versus northwest, and the cosine would be equal and positive if the triangle were drawn northeast versus southeast. Because of this fact, the inverse trig functions do not give you all of the answers, but rather are limited to the first answer, i.e. if you drew the triangle northeast. Now that we have explored the basics of what a right triangle is, I can move on to teaching vectors next, which are a common application of right triangles, owing to the fact that many of them are represented with the diagonal line. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.